Um, today we're going to be taking on the condensing unit of the fatty acid synthase enzyme. And this condensing unit is actually the first to act. They are the first to act. The first three. The first three enzymes to act from uh, that are part of the fatty acid synthase multi-enzyme complex. And these enzymes are acetyl CoA transylase, malonyl CoA transylase, and condensing enzyme so this is the first enzymes to act and the process and the process used here is called condensation they condense these two structures together so now let's see how this actually happened but before i before we um, go into that i would like to explain something acetyl acetyl and acyl i want to I have to uh, i want to explain what they actually mean so acetyl Acetyl is a fatty acid, a two-carbon unit fatty acid that has its hydrogen in its OH removed. Let's say you have two carbon units, CH, COOH. So when I remove this, this is acetyl. The whole of this is acetyl now. This is acetyl, two carbon fatty acid with its OH removed is acetyl. That's why you now have when you now attach a coenzyme A, you now say acetyl CoA. You see it? Then you know what we deal with here. What we are, what we are synthesizing is actually a saturated, even chain, even chain fatty acid. So now from two, if I move from two, what do you think I'm going to? I'll go to four. From four to six. From six to eight. From eight to ten. So, so now four. You remember two. Two, two, if it's two carbon units, it's called what? Acetyl. But from four downwards, it's not acetyl. If you remove the OH, it's called acyl. So that's why you have acyl. So now I want to take note of this because I'm going to be using this, um, these terms. So now, I was supposed to explain this earlier, even in the video of um, fatty, uh, I'm sorry, um, beta oxidation, but I didn't. Sorry for that. So now, remember I told you guys about this wonderful carrier protein here, a seal carrier protein. Remember I told you it has a hand. So and the hand is, uh, <clears throat> it has a hand due to the fact that it has a tiol group. Yes, that's the reason. And as you can see here, this condensing enzyme also has a hand due to, due to who? The all group, but acetyl 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 uh, acyl carrier protein is what is mobile. But this one is an enzyme; it's not a carrier protein. This condensing enzyme is an enzyme of the carrier protein, and it's not mobile. It stays where it is, like it catalyzes step three, so it only a step three. So that's how it is. It's a step three. So now, when we are, um breaking down fatty acids we attach fatty acid that's the acyl group we attach acyl group to coenzyme a if you observe check go and check beta oxidation you see we attach it to coenzyme a the intermediates are attached to coenzyme a but when we are synthesizing the intermediates are attached to the all group of acyl carrier protein that's how it is so now we have acetyl coa here right so what we're going to do now, I want to give this acetyl group to the tiol group of uh, acyl carrier protein. So now I want to get rid of this, of this coenzyme A. We don't need it. We are not breaking down. We are not doing beta oxidation. We are doing fatty acid synthesis. So we don't need the coenzyme A. We don't need it. So we don't need you. We need to get rid of this coenzyme A. So now, this is what you have here let me use another color let me use red so you can see now this is the coenzyme a so remember we are breaking just a single bond we are moving it from a single bond so that means there's one electron here one electron here that actually contributes to form the single bond right so now we just remove this so remember this one is now looking for one electron now so when we remove this now this coenzyme a now we take hydrogen from this tl group here and we give it to this coenzyme a right 
we give it to who? coenzyme A. So when we give it to the coenzyme A now, when we give it to coenzyme A, you now have this. Let me clean it. This process is catalyzed by who? Acetyl tonosylase. Acetyl tonosylase. All this process here is just catalyzed by acetyl tonosylase. So now, we, we generate what? This coenzyme A now, because we have given it hydrogen. We've given it hydrogen. So it's complete. Taking for one electron, I'm giving hydrogen is complete. So you have coenzyme A. It's your whole group of the coenzyme A is restored. So, sulfhydroxy group is restored. Sulfhydryl, the sulfhydryl group is restored. So now, so now, what's going to happen now is that we're going to generate this acetyl ACP. That's what we generated. We're giving it to ACP. Remember, ACP is mobile. And it has a hand, so we're going into ACP now. So ACP now wants to go and carry malonyl CoA. You get it? ACP wants to go and carry malonyl CoA, but he is holding acetyl, so there's no space. He, has, he only has one hand; he doesn't have two hands. So now, okay, since he has one hand, there's someone else who has a hand, and the person is an enzyme. So who is that? Condensing enzyme. So instead of struggling he will give it to condensing enzyme to hold and so condensing, condensing enzyme please keep this for me you are the one to catalyze you are the one to catalyze third step so when i get the malonyl coa i'll come to you then instead of giving it instead of giving it to me since your name is condensing enzyme we just condense it together and i'll carry what belongs to me and be going so now condensing enzyme he will give it to condensing enzyme just look at what happens here so condensing enzyme, he will give it to condensing enzyme. This uh and what they call it, this is a condensing enzyme, right? Right? So now we remove the hydrogen from condensing enzyme. Remember, that means that means the condensing enzyme will be looking for one, right? The the whole group of the condensing enzyme will be looking for one. The sulfur there. So now so this sulfur there we remove the hydrogen, right? Then we'll give it this acetyl group back. I know there's still group is looking for one two, one electron two. So what do you have now? You have acetyl condensing enzyme. You have acetyl condensing enzyme. Then this hydrogen that was removed, we give it back to ACP, and we restore it to it. Uh, we restore it to the other group back. So now this ACP is ready to go to the manufacturing site. Where is the manufacturing site? Who is the enzyme there? Acetyl CoA carboxylase. So he is the manufacturer. So we'll go there to get the malonyl CoA. So now, let's go and get the malonyl CoA now. We are angry. We need to get the malonyl CoA. It belongs to us. So now, yes, we are the site. The malonyl CoA is generated. So now, this is the malonyl CoA. So now, we have to get rid of this coenzyme A. We don't need it. It's, it's, it's annoying. Seeing it here is annoying. So we just have to get rid of it. So now get rid of this um, um uh, this coenzyme A. It will donate hydrogen again. Give it to coenzyme A and say coenzyme A, I give you, take, leave. We don't need you. So coenzyme A is, is out here. So now this is what's left, right? Malonyl, a malonyl group. Malonyl group is left. That's what's left here, a malonyl group. So now, since this is the malonyl group left, we will now give it to we we'll now give it to ACP. We we'll give it to ACP. You can see. It's looking for one. We we'll give it to ACP. We we'll now have malonyl ACP. Malonyl ACP. So we can't call this one acyl because look at there's still a carboxylic group, and the carboxylic group is still having OH. So you can't say uh is is the, the all the whole H must be gone. So now there's still a uh, carboxylic group is on OH. So you can see. Uh, acyl, no, it's a malonyl group. So who catalyzes this step? Malonyl tonosylase. It's a very simple step. So now, uh, we've done a good job. And uh, ACP fought a very, 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 very good battle. So we have actually taken the malonyl group. So now we are ready for the, for the uh, third step. We're going for the third step. This is the second step, actually. We're going for the third step. We'll take it back to condensing enzyme. Remember, we'll give condensing enzyme as a acyl group. So we have to get back our acetyl group. It's not for him. It's for us. It's for us, the ACPs. <laughs> so now, 
the one the enzyme catalyzing this step is called condensing enzyme or you see keto acyl synthase meaning that it synthesizes keto uh, beta keto acyl right so now look at it here we are back we want to take what belongs to us this is our acyl group that will give it give give to um, the condensing enzyme right so now we have the we remove the acyl group here and the condensing enzyme here so let me change the color let me change it to blue so now this malonyl, this malonyl ACP, right? Then we will eliminate this carbon um, carboxylic group in form of carbon four oxide. But you see this H hydrogen here. We give it to this condensing enzyme. It will restore it. All group condensing enzyme. Look at it here. Condensing enzyme is at step three. He's the one catalyzing this step. He is the one catalyzing this step. So it's always at step three. So we just uh, return it back to it the way it was. So the hand is free now, so that okay. Let me not let me not say. Let me not go, go into that. We'll, we'll go into that when we go to the next step. So the hand is free now. Just note note that the hand is free now. So the hand is free. So now this ACP, this this was left, and I've, I've written it here. This was left right, and in all this structure here, the structure here now is looking for what one. So we can also call this and what we can call this as as, as still group two. Yes, this can be called as as still group two. So this will meet this will come here and join this and join this electron here this free electron here remember this there's, there's free electron here and this free electron here so look at look at it here let me use uh, black you can see this structure here right you see it here then the whole of this you can see now we have a keto and um, beta keto acyl acp We have beta keto acyl ACP. So we're going to stop here for today. We've done a very good job. Thank you for actually following. It's not easy. So now we're going to stop here. So in the next video, we'll take on on the reducing unit. We'll take on the reducing unit. So now you can see how the condensing unit performance functions has condensed these two structures today, two structures together. The acetyl group and the malonyl group condensing together to form beta keto acyl acp thanks to acp so acp will move to the next and uh, the next units to actually perform their actions so thanks for watching and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell thank you